Hey, hello everyone. Happy fall to you today here when we're taping this is the first day of fall. This is Dave Myers, Cuckoo for Cocoa, and we're going to make a dish for you that's very fall-like. We're making smoky cheeseburger soup, and it's a process that we're going to do in the Instapot. You can do it it's either way on a crock pot or on the stove. We've selected the Instapot because we're finding that it start to be our one of our favorite pots, if you will. So this recipe starts off by cutting up some vegetables, and letting them so slow cook about four or five hours. We're going to have four small potatoes, medium onion, carrots shredded to make one cup, and celery to make a half a cup. We are going to add um, some of the Cocoa Exchange's sweet and spicy seasoning. Uh, just a little bit of a reminder, one of the way we support this show is through selling Cocoa Exchange products. The Cocoa Exchange products makes a variety of things centered around chocolate. Everything in it has cocoa infused to the product, including stuff that we may use here today on our smoky cheeseburger soup. And then finally, kind of as it cooks, we're going to have three cups of chicken broth. So uh, let's go. Let me wash these potatoes up, get them peeled, and off we go. Four small potatoes peeled and cubed. One medium onion diced. One cup diced carrot. In our case, we're probably call that finely chopped carrots. And a half cup of diced celery together with a heaping teaspoon of the sweet and spicy rub from the Cocoa Exchange. Three cups of uh, chicken broth. Now this is, I think, um, is four to five hours on high. Put the lid on and shut it. It does make a little music and we are just gonna hang out Lydia and I have got some work to do. I might clean the dishes, I don't know. And uh, get ready for the second half of this smoky cheeseburger soup. So hang on to your hats. Oh, go like our uh, YouTube page. Well, you're not doing anything. Uh, go like our YouTube page and uh, like our Facebook page and everybody will be real happy, especially when we get to taste this. Dave Myers, Cuckoo for Coco. All righty then, Dave Myers here. Bet you didn't even know we were gone. Um, we're back. Our uh, vegetables in the pot for our smoky cheeseburger soup. I'm going to even add another word to it. Smoky bacon cheeseburger soup. It has been cooking away for about four hours now. And in the meantime, I browned up some uh, ground beef in the, in the skillet. Um, cooked up some bacon. This particular recipe uh, does not say anything of bacon, but as I was uh, searching the internet, I found several cheeseburger soup recipes and one of them did add bacon. It sounded really good, so I figured that's what I'm gonna do. So I got about half to three quarters cup of bacon bits. So I did put a teaspoon of sweet and spicy rub into the ground beef also. So it gets that flavor going there. And uh, we are going to put our ground beef in the pot. And we're going to uh, add our bacon bits. Give it a little bit stir. We put our lid back on for a little bit. As soon as I figure out how to work it. Mm. When it plays music, I guess it's on. We're going to go over to the stove, so if you want to follow me, we're going to start off here uh, making our roux with uh, three tablespoons of butter, a quarter of a cup of flour is what we're going to put in there, and we're going to let the flour get cooked up, a nice brown. So then we add two cups of milk, we're kind of wh continually whisking that in. So next we're going to go with sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. Next is the cheese in the burger, in the cheeseburger. 
it's two cups. <sighs> Won't be too long. They might be able to call me a cook. I don't know. Ooh, can you tell why it's called cheeseburger? Is that it? Is that it? That's it. Touchdown. In 27 minutes, we're gonna dish that stuff up and taste it. Then we're gonna frantically clean the kitchen up before the boss comes home. Be back in a minute. Here we are, we're back. It's been about 30 minutes, kinda uh, soup got all a chance to gel together. And we're going to We're gonna get it open. So. so we're gonna dress it up a little, and I would say that you could dress it up about any way you want, you know, with hamburger -y stuff or whatever, or have fun with it. This is the part where you can have fun, you'd be a little creative, but we had some, this is kind of what we had. We had some avocados, so I'm gonna decorate here with a layer of avocado and then I thought you know dab of sour cream would look pretty good on there so oops that's just like me to spill dab of sour cream and just a little bit of unmelted cheese to go on top doesn't take much and finally to give it a little twine uh, just a little bit, a few, oops, that's a little bit, uh, um, of uh, green onion, chopped green onion. All right, so we got this cheeseburger soup, um, bacon cheeseburger soup. We're gonna give it a, a taste bit, cut into our avocado a little bit. Uh oh, spilling, 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 spill alert. Potatoes, the onion, um, the hamburger cooked really good. A hint, just a hint of bacon in there, and I'm glad it's there. Spectacular. This is a keeper. We're going to make it again. As I mentioned, very mellow, nothing harsh, very fall, very much comfort food. This is a good one. I mean it. It's on my top 10, if not my top five list. It surprises the heck out of me. Usually always does. And um, hope you like it. Any questions, make some comments down below. Look at the description for information on how to find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Please subscribe to this channel. We are trying to grow it. We love doing this. We want to help you. Can't help you if people aren't following. So please subscribe to Cooking with Cuckoo. Like us on Facebook. Cuckoo for Coco. And, uh, you know, uh, if you feel like you could maybe swing it to buy a product now and then, we'd appreciate it. Dave Myers. Cuckoo for Coco on the Cooking with Cuckoo YouTube channel. See you later, guys.